All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's get straight into this video. This video is going to be called You're an Explorer. So if this is for you, let it be for you. But the way I came up with this video is that uh, there's a movie and it's a, quite a sad movie, but I'm sure many of you have seen it, but it's called The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And there's a, there's a little child named Bruno, right? Bruno's like the rich, the rich one of the German side and then the other... Uh, child Shmuel is the one that's uh jewish in the concentration camp but that's part of the movie but what i mean by explorer is there was a scene where someone was talking to bruno i think right and, he and they said uh bruno you're an explorer and this was a long time ago but this came to my mind today so i believe that whoever's whoever's watching this video it may be that god is telling you that you're an explorer right and also all all the type of cars I've been seeing today is really Ford Explorers, so that's also part of the video. So I keep seeing Explorer, Explorer, Explorers. I know it's time to make a video because I've seen like a thousand Explorers today. And like literally every day, that's all I see is Ford Explorers. Literally, like everyone's got a uh, SUV, but that's besides the point. Well, it's kind of part of the point, but and besides the point. But uh, you're an Explorer, so what I, what I mean by this is that you might know this about yourself, but you might need like a like a confirmation or like reassurance or something so an explorer is somebody that literally explores right so this kind of goes in the video by being the wild child you know so the explorer is someone that literally explores like you you may like to uh travel you're always out and about you may be someone who likes to drive either on your own or with people like you always need to be moving you're always exploring new things that's what an explorer does so if this is you let it be for you but you're the type of person that like you aren't one to stay still, right? You're not a domesticated type of person, so you're not one to stay still. You're not one to, like, do the same thing over and over. Like, you need to be doing new things, like exploring, going to different places, checking new things out, learning different things, whatever it is, going out with people, what, whatever these things are, right? But a lot, a lot of times, like, we think, uh, especially in this society, like, being this type of person, right? It's like the wrong thing to do or something. Maybe some of you have thought that like being this like explorer type of person, it's like, no, you just need to do this and stand and do the same thing, right? And just be this way and do these things and, you know, live your life and then pay your bills, blah, 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 boring nonsense, right? So, uh, regarding like the wild child thing, and this is similar. So, you know, if you guys watch the wild child video, and I recommend a lot of you to watch that video. I know a lot of people really, really like that specific one, right? That hit deep for a lot of people and... Like the wild child is pretty much the same right they're always exploring they can't really stay still they got to be doing things their impulse control isn't really like the best right and this is that's not like a joke in a way but what i mean is that like it's okay to be that way right the wild child isn't one that could really domesticate themselves that's all i mean by impulse control because it's not like the impulses are wrong it's just they're less domesticated. They're like a lion, right? So if you leave them in a cage, they're gonna go crazy. They're gonna they're gonna roar. They're gonna do something, right? They're gonna destroy the whole place. So, and then being an explorer is really someone like that. So you're someone that's always gonna like uh, you're always like reaching for new things, right? So people who are like explorers or whatever are more likely to be like entrepreneurial type of people or like something like a business owner or like someone that creates things, like someone that something that gets you moving. Or like if you have a job or something, it'll be like outside sales or like trucking or something active, right? You can't just stay in an office or something or like stay just doing the same thing and you can't really stay inside, right? And when I say like explorers and being undomesticated, like most of the time we think it's just us men and everything. But no, women, there's a lot of women like that too. Because I heard somebody comment, I think it was on the Wild Child video about they were a woman, right? And they have that personality, but it's harder for a woman to be like that. Because women are supposed to be quote unquote like submissive or whatever, and they're supposed to be like uh, like slaves pretty much, which is which is a cap, which is a lie. So just know if you're a woman and you have that personality, like it's okay. You're supposed to be like that. You're supposed to be wild too. Like when you look at lions and lionesses, like the lionesses, which are women, they're not slaves or like submissive or whatever. They're aggressive. They're they're undomesticated. They're wild. They're powerful and everything. And then the male lion. It's just a more powerful and big one, right? That's all it is. But it's not it's not like you gotta be uh you gotta yeah, like domesticate yourself, like stay stay indoors or whatever, don't act a certain way, don't 
don't uh raise your voice don't uh express your opinion or whatever don't say too much blah 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 like all that stuff like it's just throw that out the window right that's not what jesus wants you to do at all some people think god is like that but he's not he's revealed to me that he's not like i said every time i'm in jesus's presence i'm more wild so i'm like and more wild meaning i'm just more myself and that's how i am i'm just more wild in general so it just he makes you more yourself hallelujah glory to god so if this is for you, let it be for you. Let it be a confirmation. But you're an explorer type of person. Just like that movie. Like, Bruno, you're an explorer. Meaning your life. Like, this, this, this could be like your pur purpose, right? And what I mean by purpose is your your life is going to be more of a life of exploration. It's not going to be a life of boredom and doing the same thing over and over again. It's going to be exploring. Either traveling. Either doing new things. Either regarding like the church and everything like apostles were always like more explorer type people because they they had different visions about the church they're able to like judge the church they're able to you know all these things right so it could be about the church it could also just be for how you make your income or whatever it's gonna be more explorer type or just who you are you're gonna be exploring like you might be someone that like already travels or like you want to travel or something you might be someone that's always on the move right always doing something you're driving 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 like a, an hour drive to you is like not even a problem right you could do that like every day if you want to just because it's fun or something like that i don't know maybe one, maybe one of you need to do that i mean need to hear that but uh it was kind of funny because like i kept when i see like the same thing over and over again and like i'm like focused on it i know god wants to uh god has like a message because i keep seeing it right like, explore 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 and i keep thinking about it and i keep thinking about this movie and I've, the last time I saw this movie was literally, like, I don't know, like, June or something. So, it just came to my uh, attention out of nowhere. But it's kind of cool because this, this, being an explorer is, like, probably, like, the coolest thing you could be. Like, literally, you're an explorer. So, you you could always check out new things. Like, your life is, it's, uh, how do I explain it? Like, it's not, it's a life of adventure, pretty much. Yeah, like, an adventure. Like, your life isn't going to be something to where, uh you could predict it right it's gonna be exciting yeah it's gonna be like exciting that's how jesus could could have made your life as exciting so it's like your life is gonna be like unpredictable you're exploring new things and you're gonna be like with god so you could be you could know this already you could do this already or something but it could be you like alone or something you know you and jesus and you could be just revealing to you things randomly like you just start like learning new things it might show you just the most random things right Literally, the, like, the most random things. You might be staring at, like, the trees or something. You might be learning something about the trees or, like, staring at them and, like, being fascinated by it or something. Like, something like that. Like, I don't know. Just random. Like, anything. Literally, just explore it. You guys know what I mean. It's like a... It's, it's a it's a person who just it lives like a child, pretty much, right? Which is uh, how Jesus wants you to live. It's like you're a child of God, right? So, you know, when a child is young, they look at everything. They go, wow, wow, what's that? The moon, you know, the trees uh the snow you know the sandwich water or whatever and that's literally how you're supposed to live like it's how some people some people will take it oh but you're an adult now or whatever you're an adult it's it's not that it doesn't matter what age you are it says somewhere in the bible right for the children of israel it says god tells them like i've held you ever since you were born i'm gonna i'm gonna hold you even to where you're uh your uh hair is gray or something like that it's a scripture i'll, I'll post it down when i find it but meaning that God has been holding you your whole life, pretty much, as like a child. So he's been, he's held you since you're a child and er, until your hair is gray, meaning old. Even though you're still a child, no matter how old you are to God, you're still a child. So, and when I say child, it's a good thing. The world likes to say, oh, what are you, a child? You know, they, they like to say, oh, don't do that anymore. What are you, five years old or whatever? It's like i wish right i wish i was still five no, i'm just joking but there's nothing wrong with it right and this is how like a person who's an explorer is or like an adventurer they're child childlike right it's like i said like the child's like wow look at this look at that car look at the look at the moon look, look at the beach look at this look at that you're exploring and everything so and also the good thing about being an explorer anyway is your life is just fun you know like it's just fun it's not boring because life, life in general, like, if you're not doing things, like, it's just boring. Like, you, like what are you going to do if you're not? You can't just stay in the same place all the time, right? Do the same thing all the time. It's going to drive you insane. What do they say? Like, insanity is doing the same, the exact same thing or whatever every day and expecting stuff to change or something like that. That's, like, the worst way to live. I know that will drive me insane, doing the exact same thing every day. 
I go crazy. Like, I'll literally, like, I'll, I'll legit go crazy. Like, I'll just explode or something. I don't know. Go, go insane. <laughs> so, just know that if this is for you, this is for you. And it's, like, it's right to be that way. And it's okay. Like, it's not something you got to hide or whatever. It's not something you got to hide. It's not something you got to domesticate, you know? Like, put yourself little and, like, don't do it. Because you're going to explode if you hide it. And... It would just drive you crazy. So let this be like, let this liberate you if you need it, right? Just only if you need this video, let it liberate you. Because it seems like my channel, for the most part, liberates people to like be themselves pretty much. Not to be another person, but to actually honor who they are, right? Just as Jesus said, I came to free the captives, free the prisoners, right? So Jesus is a God of freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. And sometimes we don't know what freedom means, right? Because we think we got to enslave ourselves so we don't sin. But it's ironic, actually. When you move in freedom and you're not uh, self-taming yourself and trying not to sin, you actually realize your nature isn't uh, evil. Because this is a lie. This is something I figured out, too, that before... So we hear about sinful, like, nature or whatever. And, you know, we've sinned. Like, yes, we've all sinned, right? Every single man on this planet of sin, there's none righteous. But it's not... We get deceived on like who we actually are, though. Just because we've sinned, it doesn't mean our nature is evil. It, it doesn't mean our nature is evil. So this is why I made the video on how you're without blemish, right? To Christ, you're without blemish. This is this is what he means. So whenever you're you're not trying to self tame and trying not to sin and trying not to do this, you find it's ironic because you do less of it. It's ironic. You find you find out that wait, I don't really have to judge my actions and watch myself all the time because i actually end up doing the right thing without whenever i'm like that whenever i try to judge my actions and try not to sin and blah 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 all this stuff then you got shame and guilt and everything then you do it again then you do it again then you're in actual bondage so that's how jesus's freedom is it's it's basically like he's like go ahead and be free right you're not the judge of it either so you don't need to self-tame you need to judge yourself like I don't know if you guys can relate because I've done this before to where I used to literally judge every action I did. It was the worst, like, most stressful thing ever. I learned it from the world. Jesus set me free from that. Hallelujah. But it's like I would legit always just like, it's like I wouldn't even live. I would do anything. It would be some sort of judgment about it, whether it's positive or negative. And it's just like, you don't, you don't even live, right? You're not even living if you're judging everything. If you're, if you go outside and explore something, you're judging it. So say you're, you're out driving or something and you're judging it the whole time. Am I driving too fast? I'm doing this. Am I, do I, I need to go do this. I need to go do this. I should be doing this. I should be doing, I should make, I should be making money. I should be doing this. Am I being lazy? Am I blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> you guys probably relate to this. I might be speaking just for my own like anger about it because it was frustrating before, but glory be to God. I've been set free from that. So it's, it's, uh, with Jesus, it's, it's true freedom. It's literally true freedom. You, you don't become, you're not the judge anymore of your life. You're not the judge of it. It's, I think Paul said it somewhere in the New Testament where he's like, I can't even judge myself because I don't even know myself. And that's how it is. Because for me, I don't even, I legit don't even like actually know myself. So I can't even properly judge myself, nor can I even judge like anybody. Like about like anything, like literally, because I, I, I don't know him. That's why nobody, if you're watching this, no man can judge you either because they don't even know you. And it says all are hypocrites, literally. Everyone is a hypocrite and a liar. So everyone who judges ends up being a hypocrite, so... Let the judgment be off of you completely. Let yourself not even judge yourself, right? Let J Jesus be the only one that judges you. And this isn't like, because people always twist things, always. And they say, oh, whenever you say, oh, only God can judge me, it's just an excuse to sin. But that's where the deception is, because we think, we think uh, if we don't judge ourselves right, we're going to be untamable and we're just going to go straight to evil. But that's, that's not actually who we are. We aren't actually inherently evil. It's a lie. That's a, that's actually a lie from hell. We're not inherently evil. God said he made us perfect, right? So we, we hear about our sinful nature. We think that's our actual nature. We think that's our literal nature. Like we think if we don't tame it or whatever, we're just going to do, we're going to be the worst of the worst. It's not true. It's not true at all. It's a lie. It's different. It's a... You guys, you guys can understand this if you do, and if you don't, just like pray for understanding about it. Because this is hard to understand at first too. But the less you judge yourself, the less you try to tame yourself, the less you try to watch your actions on some religious way, the actual more free you are, and actually the more less you sin, right? The less you sin. 
because it's ironic because you're actually you're, you're moving like a child and whenever you look at a child it's like if we're born evil if you're if we're actually born evil right the war almost every single every single child you see literally not evil like they're precious and everything they don't they're all just like wow 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 they're full of love and everything laughter and everything so if we're born evil we'd be diabolical straight out of birth right we would have been diabolical straight out of our birth. So that's a lie from hell. So we rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but I've had the same issue. So maybe you, you could relate to it as well. But the judgment on you, there's no judgment on you anymore in Christ. You can't even judge yourself, right? And also Christ isn't judging you, right? It said the Son of Man came to save, not to condemn. So he comes to save and to help you. And the, the best help that he does is actually frees you and says, this is you walk in freedom right walk in love and walk in freedom so this is where the this is how i wrap like this video around with like the adventurous thing because you're you're probably someone that's already like this you've cut you probably could have known this ever since you're young the world creeped in you like a parasite and you had to tame it right you said no and i can't be doing this because this is rebellious or something or this is wrong or this is or if I do this, I'm going to have to worry about this, right? So you, you, we like enslave ourselves to this. So, And if you watch this video, if you're anything like me, you're like allergic to all forms of bondage. to like anything. This, this is how the wild child is, right? Allergic to any anything that holds them back. And don't get it mistaken from, from like, a, like a person who wants to do evil or something, right? Because you're not like that. It means that... If anything's holding you back from your actual freedom, you rebel, you rebel against it, right? So this is why it's actual gift from God. And it's not like if, if someone that's adventurous or a wild child rebels from like God or Jesus rebels, it's not the rebel you hear about in the Bible, right? It's different. It's the same. It's a rebel that Jesus chases down. It's a rebel that Jesus chases down to save, right? And say, hey, like it's that rebel gets alone. So Jesus could actually bring out the real personality and say, look, I'm for you. This is who you are, right? There's maybe because I've I've had I've heard a lot of comments on like uh the wild child video about how like when you get in the presence of Jesus, you know, you're more wild. So you're just like you get it you get it mixed up. You're like, wait, it might be true that I am like evil, like I need to be tamed or whatever, but you get in his presence that's worse. You're like, what is going on, right? You're more adventurous, more wild, more like a child or something, right? And that's that's him literally breaking the chains off of you, breaking all the false chains off of you, right? So don't don't get him mistaken. So if you're if you're if you relate to it, then don't get him mistaken, right? I don't know who I'm speaking to. I know someone needs to hear. It. But be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. That, that's that's how God frees you, right? You don't really hear much of anyone in the Bible being a domesticated or something. They're all lions. They're, they're all full of energy you hear david you hear solomon right everyone you don't hear anyone that was like a little like not adventurous stays at home does nothing watches her tone blah 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 whatever it is right it's, it's not true so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video in the name of jesus christ and if you enjoyed just if you want to like go ahead and like comment if you want to comment and subscribe if you want to subscribe all right god bless you guys in the name of jesus christ and i'll see you in the next video